Hey, what is going on everyone? And if you took a look at the thumbnail for today's video, then you'll know that what I want to talk about is what the heck is going on with Dark Dimension 5 rewards. Every week we expect to hear something and every week we're disappointed, so I want to discuss a few of the reasons why I think they might be holding this back. Take a look at the timeline up to now and you know what kind of things we should be expecting with regards to these rewards. I also want to take a little bit of a trip back in time and compare this to the way that things worked for Dark Dimension 4, including the timeline for that, how long it took for us to actually get our rewards, how it happened, what we got, and why all of this is really important to some of the events that are coming soon to Mars. Marvel Strike Force. So if this interests you, then without further ado, let's get this show on the road. And so before we really get started too much, I, we need to talk about the blogs, you know, because we see a lot of the blog posts and that's where we get some of our information with regards to Dark Dimension uh, 5 in this case. And I have some of the old blogs for Dark Dimension 4 and that gives us an idea of what the timeline is that we're looking at. So here you can see this blog post from November the 12th, 2021. So that was just over two months ago. And that's where they sort of mentioned Dark Dimension 5 coming first. So if you scroll down, Dark Dimension 5, you know, they basically talk Talk about how Dormammu and Dark Dimension 5 is around the corner in November 18th, which is already passed. Obviously, start prepping now. And they actually talk about uh, what the rewards are going to be for Dark Dimension 5 more generally. And that's really about it. So this gives us a timeline in terms of the opening of that. But then fast forward a little bit, and then we have December 3. This is the Web Warriors blog post. This is the same uh, blog where they had the strike time video and all that for the new characters. But if you scroll down past all of that, then you actually do get to the dark dimension section and where they talk about the you know who won and all that and we kind of know that well once we scroll through so here we go uh, the newest realm in the dark dimension 5 has only been open for a short period of time but it's already had its first conqueror put your virtual hands together and congratulate Tadano Mac Japan so for those of you who don't know Tadano Mac uh, did win the race for dark dimension 3 but did not win the race for dark dimension 4 we'll talk a little bit about that and then the race and, and the stuff from Dark Dimension 4 because uh, it's more important for the timeline. So this was early December when we got this post. Basically the congratulatory, the, you know, speech blog and, the, and it's kind of important for them to acknowledge that there anyways. Uh, this is the second time, yeah, you can see that here. As we mentioned in a previous blog, we'll be throwing a party for the entire community. Uh, this includes character shards, community pool blitzes, Bonus events and special 10 for 10s. The most important stuff here is the character shards. This involves 100 character shards. And I'm pretty sure that they said that basically you would only be able to get characters up until Lady Deathstrike. So up until that point, uh, no Omega Red. I, I think Silver Samurai was included in there as well. But it was up to that patch there, the Weapon X patch. So nothing past that. No uh, no Eternals. N n nothing like that. So don't expect anything like that. But it has been said from other content creators that I've talked to, other community members, that behind the scenes, I, I don't remember the timeline from when he actually decided this. However, I was told that uh, the, the, the community managers and the devs uh, did say that he needed to make a decision about his choices a bit earlier than I think they may have done for Dark Dimension 4. In this case, Cloak and Dagger were chosen. I'm pretty sure that's the case, so we would expect something like that coming soon. Uh, as far as the community poll blitzes, I don't think any of those have run. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments down below if there's something I missed out on that I just really don't remember at this point, but I, I don't think there was anything. So, that's basically where we're at right now, waiting for more word from Dark Dimension 5 in terms of when this is going to happen, how it's going to happen exactly, and uh, why the, you know, and why this is important is because a lot of us are talking about, well, I guess I'm, I'm doing this video before Friday because it's a, there's a big possibility that Morbius, who is, is rumored to be that last character in the silhouette, could be a legendary character. So why is this important? Because Cloak and Dagger may be important to the legendary unlocks possibly for these characters uh, you know if uh, Morbius turns out not to be a legendary character then this is less relevant I think however as far as characters go we know that farmability has been an all-time low and so for them to hold back these reward shards which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be cloak and dagger it's a bit disappointing so let's take a look at the dark dimension 4 timeline so I have the, the blogs up here these are old blogs November 20th 2020 
This is the X Factor blog. So just just to be clear, the Dark Dimension kind of released around the same time, both Dark Dimension Five and Dark Dimension Four. So going backwards, you know, this uh, the first blog that we looked at. This was November twelfth. This is November twentieth for twenty twenty. And then scrolling down, we talk about uh, Dark Dimension Four after all of this crap. Uh, the Dark Dimension Four celebration, actually. So uh, this they they already said how it's going to look before they actually announced the winner. So for this, again, login calendar that rewards 100 character shards total. Now, what's interesting, though, is this ended up being two different characters rather than one character. And we'll talk about that when we talk about exactly what the rewards were. And then blitzes that was conducted with polls. So you're seeing a lot of the same stuff from what is supposed to happen for Dark Dimension 5. And, and you know, and that's okay. So the timeline is what's important here. So let's jump forward a little bit. And then we get January 29th, 2021. This was one of the major Jubilee uh, blog post that came to the game and it also told you exactly the requirements for uh, Jubilee which was Pimtech. So why is this important? Because look at where we are right now. We're January 4th, sorry January 24th as of recording this video, possibly January 25th if you're watching this uh, after I release it. Uh, but the point is is that we're getting awfully close to the timeline of this, this patch blog here and so that's going to be this Friday and I think that we might see an announcement A. Of, the, of whether or not Morbius is a legendary character, and B, what's going to be required to unlock him. Now, down below here, <laughs> we get the Dark Dimension 4 celebration news. All right, so watch Reminex shake it here, you know, beat Dark Dimension 4, and, you know, we'll be holding a celebration for the entire community, including a 100, 100 character shard reward, more information's on the way. So as of this post, there was not a 100% unveiling of what was going to happen. I do have one more thing that I want to show you, so just to keep in mind the date here, January 29th, 2021. So as far as where we are this year, that's going to be coming up later on this week. So whether or not we see something, that would be an appropriate time, I think, at this point to unveil it. However, we're going to go to uh, exhibit number three or five at this point. I don't know how many. This this post. Now, this was a this was a, an announcement by the community managers. I just, you know, because I can't share uh, certain sources uh, on my Discord because it's from the Envoy channel. This is where I got all the backdated news. Uh, this is where, this was the community manager post. And so this was dated on February the 3rd. So that was about a week after that blog post. Hello all. As stated in the blog on Friday, watch Reminex Shake It was the first to defeat Dark Dimension four with this input with his input we created a method within the game to let you choose between ghost or color obsidian character shards now at this point uh, ghost was known to be uh, required for the legendary unlock for Jubilee as part of that pim tech team so this part was pretty important Call Obsidian, uh, mainly because Black Order was still really dominant at this time, and so a lot of people wanted to get more Call Obsidian shards. I think he was a premium orb exclusive at this point, uh, but otherwise, you know, he was, I, I think Call was a Blitz character. So as far as total amount of shards goes, uh, people didn't have very many, so they decided to go for that because he was kind of that big tank for the Black Order, and it was kind of important. But uh, whether or not he knew that Ghost was going to be part of uh, the uh, the Pimtech before he decided, I'm not sure. Uh, but Ghost was ended up making a, being made a war character. We know that Ghost is in the war store, so this is not war stores suck. So nobody wants to farm characters out of the war store. So these were good choices, anyways. Uh, to earn them, there will be a daily login calendar for 14 days that will reward Valiant credits which can be redeemed to open one of two orbs that respectively contain Ghost or Call Obsidian character shards. So as far as Cloak and Dagger, if that's what's chosen, I expect this to be exactly the same way. Uh, so you will be able to open a total of four orbs by the completion of the calendar, and each orb will contain 25 character shards for a grand total of 100 character shards. You can choose to do all 100 shards of Ghost or all 100 of Call Obsidian or a combination of both. So comparing this to Cloak and Dagger, then it could be 100 Cloak, 100 Dagger, 50 Cloak, 50 Dagger, whatever. If you're planning on using... If you're going for the Ghost character shards with the intention of using her for Jubilee's Legendary event, so... This part's interesting because at this point, they know that Ghost was chosen and Ghost was required for the Le Jubilee Legendary Unlock. If you log in every day once the calendar starts, you will be able to receive 
up to 75 ghost shards before the end of the jubilee legendary event we'll look at the timeline as well i'm going to bring up my character spreadsheet uh so they weren't allowing you to get the full 100 but they let you get 75 because the login calendar was 14 days and for when the date of the jubilee event came out it was five days but it wasn't enough to get you those last couple of login days to get you those extra 25 shards uh, but 75 towards a legendary character unlock was quite a bit and and, and for without a doubt this helped a lot of people get to jubilee possibly Possibly then they might not have been before so the question is are they intentionally holding back announcing this by telling us because cloak and dagger may be actually involved in a legendary character unlock and that's kind of what i want to take a look at in the second half of the video here congratulations again to remnex shaken so there we are with that information so i'm going to bring up my character spreadsheet you guys have probably seen this before i bring this up uh, quite frequently from time to time and why this is important is because if we look at the jubilee we're gonna go back a little bit we're gonna look at the jubilee event here so this was on february 8th now that post here was on the february 3rd so the login calendar happened pretty soon after this statement but the Jubilee event started on, on February the 8th. It lasted for five days, I think, until the end of the 12th, because 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that, I believe, because it's only five days, I think, not seven. I'm pretty sure for first-time events now, just like Omega Red was. And so that's interesting to where we are now, because we're coming up on the next patch, which is going to be in February, because you can see here that Bishop was actually the first character to come out, believe it or not, for patch 5.1 back then, and that was on the 2nd of February. Where are we now? As far as we the timeline goes, you know, we're, we're January 24 or 25, depending on, you know, when you're watching this. And then we're expected to have the patch February 1 or February 02 of next week. At least as far, far as my data goes, this is when we should have the patch. So this lines up very perfectly to patch 5.1. Instead, we're getting patch 5.10, extra zero, because that's where we are right now. And that's when we're expected to have a legendary character. So let's scroll down. So let's go all well, to where we are right now. And so this is the patch 5.10 predictions here. Uh, I'm actually going to push this. Yeah, I don't know why I had that. I, I must have changed that a long time ago. So my predictions here is going to be then, Maya Lopez, who we already have as the character that's going to be on that first silhouette we know that probably the campaign event character but but not necessarily i suppose here and so morbius we have to find out whether or not morbius is the legendary character and so as far as characters go there were two unlocks that i thought were going to happen if morbius was indeed going to be the legendary character for per, for next patch then there were only two teams that i thought would unlock or two two groups of characters that i thought would unlock him as a legendary character and for me, that's either Weapon X, I had Weapon X tutored, whether or not you, you believe that or not, that it might happen. I mean, I think this is entirely within the realm of possibility. That being said, we do have Silver Samurai ongoing right now in the Strike Pass, so that's an extra 50 shards, possibly 100 if you buy him, on top of him being an event campaign character, which to me seems like an easy 5 star. Lady Deathstrike was an interesting case because uh, she was a milestone event store. If you did it completely free to play, you could actually, you just squeezed in a five star if you did all of the milestones daily. Uh, however, I bought the Venom costume for the, what was it, the, um, the Pharaoh Venom costume. And so because of that, that cost me about 60 shards that I had to convert into bits in order to buy that costume. So I didn't quite get that five star Lady Deathstrike. Actually, I'm just above four star. I'm like... 30 out of 130 i'm still like missing about 100 shards so uh, lady death strike here would have been the other character that you would need as part of that weapon x team uh for morbius if that's what was happened but the second thing that, that a lot of people were talking about i mean we're not going to talk about web warriors i think there's like a one percent chance that's the case if uh it's going to be morbius i think that if it's not morbius and it gets pushed back to the next batch web warriors are more likely uh, magic was tooted a little bit here as well as part of that and and we'll talk about that when we talk about cloak and dagger so cloak and dagger or the new warriors more broadly the problem is, is i didn't think that death pool was actually going to be included in here because she was made premium orb exclusive and so that kind of brings you down to cloak and dagger still not farmable but characters that a lot of people thought could be involved because of their mixed release method that there's an all-time low amount of shards for these characters if you didn't spend so we know that cloak and dagger has been chosen as the rewards for dark dimension 5 as far as i'm aware and we still haven't heard anything about this so is it possible that cloak and dagger are actually the requirements for this legendary unlock for morbius if that's the case coming soon i mean we're gonna find out pretty soon but the question is how long are they gonna wait to give us these shards for these characters if they are actually indeed involved 
in the unlock for this character so that'll be kind of interesting alongside cloak and dagger though other characters that you might need uh, i mean it's possible that magic is also part of that i don't know uh but she's really far up ahead past cloak and dagger in terms of release so i don't know how possible that is other characters that were tutored like it could be kind of weird right because omega red required secret avengers and then nick fury and winter soldier so they could do like cloak and dagger and i don't know like a random you know, permanently available legendary Shuri, uh, Star Lord, something like that, with another random character that kind of has a tie to Cloak and Dagger. I don't know who that might be necessarily. Originally, I actually thought it could have been something like Cloak Dagger, sorry, Cloak Dagger, Deathpool, Deadpool, and like I don't know, Star Lord or Invisible Woman or something like that. Just because, or, or Thanos even, because Thanos had connections with Deathpool here. I'm not sure what kind of character connections there could be necessarily with Cloak and Dagger standalone, but this does make me curious about whether or not these two are going to be required. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that there's a reason? why we haven't heard yet about the uh, or the rewards coming soon do you think we're going to get it later on this week do you think they're going to announce more of it on friday i mean without a doubt they're going to have to announce more stuff about next patch's characters because literally we're around the corner uh for this patch 5.10 I, I literally think it's like next week so they're going to need to give us uh, at least one or two if morbius is legendary they definitely they haven't had their strike time yet okay so they definitely need to have a strike time about somebody uh, whether or not morbius is a legendary event or not we'll find out pretty soon so yeah is cloak and dagger going to be it is it not they need to tell us pretty soon about these things so put your uh your predictions in the comments down below i'm kind of suspicious whether or not cloak and dagger are actually involved and that's why they've been so late to tell us the rewards for dark dimension 5 when we're gonna get it and all things like that so that's the end of the video and of course until next time stay safe and healthy and i'll see y'all later boylan signing